friend Jeanette toasts all of the bread on this television show. <laughs> Jeanette? 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 I need toast! Help! <laughs> so, our onions... <laughs> she can do it! We're gonna take a quick break so Jeanette can perfectly toast my focaccia, and I'll meet you right back here. Say hello to the Fish Stick 2.0. Half the fat, all wild caught, with the same great taste they've always loved. New Gordon Smart and Crunchy, real smart seafood. Trust the Gordon's Fisherman. When eating healthy and drinking water just isn't enough to ease my constipation, I trust Dulcolax tablets. I take Dulcolax for dependable overnight relief, and in the morning, I'm back to myself. Dulcolax, designed for dependable relief. Real cheese people don't eat pasteurized processed cheese food. It's only required to contain 51% real cheese. With Sargento Natural Cheese Slices, you always get 100% real. Sargento, we're real cheese people. More strong storms, possibly even severe storms possible this afternoon. We'll break it all down for you coming up at noon. Plus, she thought she was doing the right thing, so why did a local student get suspended? A surprising story next on News Channel 5 at noon. America's Best Designer Sale is going on now. You get two pairs of glasses for $69.95, plus get a free eye exam. Hundreds of designer frames to choose from. Sofia Vergara, Project Runway, Darion, and more. The designer sale at America's Best. Two pairs of glasses for $69.95 and a free eye exam. Hurry, sale ends Saturday. Call 1-800-2-PAIR or visit americasbest.com to schedule an appointment today. America's Best, the best prices in sight. Growing your small business requires strategic marketing. WPTV is hosting a free small business marketing seminar on April 14th and 15th. Learn from experts what works and how to avoid costly mistakes. RSVP to smallbiz at WPTV.com. nicely. I've got my balsamic ketchup. I'm going to add that right to my sweet onions and mix that puppy together. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Jeanette, do we have toast? <laughs> Yay! Thank you, toaster. Look at that toast. Look how perfectly toasted that focaccia is. Do you know how it is to toast focaccia. I'm going to tell you how hard it is. It's very hard because it has olive oil in it and that makes it a higher fat content. So this toast could have burned, incinerated, but it's perfect. <laughs> thanks to Jeanette. <laughs> All right. We're going to take our nice Chianti burger. Mm. Put that on our perfectly toasted focaccia. And we are going to top that with our balsamic ketchup, sweet onions. Oh my God! Yeah, baby, it's burger night. That is a burger that is so adorable, you could certainly entertain with it, but only make it for people you really like because they will come back for more. Uh, I had so much fun on today's show. I hope you guys did too. We'll see you when we see everybody. Bye bye. Coming up next on New Channel 5 at noon, a severe weather alert where the storms are now and when they'll get really bad. Plus, the local guy made famous from that owl video finds out if he's in trouble. We're back in 30 seconds with local coverage you can count on. Need a new mattress? 
Come to El Dorado and shop Florida's largest mattress selection. Discover your true colors during Calico Corner's spring sale while savings are in full bloom. Save up to 50% store-wide on all fabrics, furniture, trim, hardware, accessories, and Hunter Douglas window treatments. Sale ends Saturday. Storm will be showing up on the radar. A gloomy picture, as you can see, though, from High Five. It is a News Channel 5 weather alert day. We want to get straight to our team of Storm Team 5 meteorologists, Lisa Vaughn and Tyler Malden, for the latest. Guys. Hey, good morning. Uh, good afternoon, it's Holly. It's the afternoon now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it is a Storm Team 5 weather alert day. That means we think that mm. the storms will significantly affect you later today. But you wouldn't know it right now. <laughs> Tons of people at the beach, right? I know. It actually looks like, it looks like a gorgeous uh, afternoon for us right now. But that is soon going to change because of the sunshine. Right, Lisa? That is correct. So right now, get out to the beach. You want to do it in the next hour or two hours. You'll get some good beach time in because we're getting a mix of sun and clouds. On our radar right now, there are some showers that are moving uh, towards Lake Okeechobee from the west to the east. A couple spotty showers offshore. But if we zoom out on this radar, you look to the west. Look at this mess that is headed towards us. Showers and thunderstorms that will be tracking our way for later on this afternoon. So uh, with more on the threats that we can expect, let's send things over back to Tyler Malden. Tyler. It, these storms, they get pretty intense at times, so we are looking at the possibility for numerous lightning strikes and some gusty winds. The winds with each one of these storm cells could reach 60 miles per hour, so we could be dealing with some severe thunderstorms later on today. Definitely some small hail, too, about pea to penny size hail, and with each um, cell that comes over, too, it's going to be uh, dropping a lot of rainfall, and that means we do have a slight risk for some flooding, mainly just some minor street flooding. Wait until you see what our uh, in-house computer models are printing out for later on this afternoon. Lisa and I will be back and we'll show you that at 1218. You may have seen uh, some of this in your own yard. A lot of chainsaws going off uh, this afternoon. People have some cleaning up to do and more severe weather is on the way. But still, yesterday's storm causing plenty of damage. Storm Team, our News Channel 5's Chris Stewart, he is live in Palm Beach Gardens uh, with a look at some of it. Chris. Yeah, Holly, and you have to think listening to Tyler and Lisa this afternoon that some of you at home are saying, here we go again, more severe weather on the way. Uh, just as many of you cleaning up after yesterday's storms, we're actually in the backyard of one of our News Channel 5 photographers. He's dealing with what a lot of you are dealing with today. Take a look at this tree that came down in his backyard. You remember how strong that wind was yesterday? It snapped right at the base, came down, nearly hit his house, missed it by less than a foot. He's very lucky he didn't have any damage to his home, but this storm just really was a mess for a lot of people in our area. Take a look at some of the pictures uh, in the U report section of our WPTV app right now. This storm brought trees down that are still down today. It ripped awnings right off of homes. We saw that in St. Lucie County. Fortunately, nobody was injured, but again, a lot of tree damage today in parts of our area. Now, if with more severe weather on the way, a good reminder as far as taking pictures, always make sure you're doing it from a safe location. But again, we want to see what you're seeing. So if you do end up coming across any sort of damage we want to see it be sure to send it to us today using that you report feature on the WPTV app we're live here in Palm Beach Gardens Chris Stewart WPTV News Channel 5 Chris mentioned it but if you didn't have it yesterday today is another perfect day to download our storm shield app those up to the minute alerts will really help you prepare as that dangerous weather creeps into your area go to WPTV.com or you can uh, go to the app store it's about three bucks but I think you'll find that it's well worth it we do have breaking news right now. A mother and baby died this morning in a house fire in Palm Bay. Fire officials said a garbage collector noticed smoke coming from the house and called 911. Firefighters pulled the two victims out, but it was too late. The state fire marshal's office and police are investigating. New at noon, a new development in the story we first told you about of the man seen on video playing with an owl. The Fish and Wildlife Commission says it will not be filing charges against the guy right there. They said he had no intention of harming the bird, which is protected under federal law. The man said he found the owl near I-95 in Blue Heron and dropped it off in a park in Lake Worth. Also new at noon, the Martin County Sheriff's Office says it found two more abandoned dogs, bringing the total to 27. The puppies were dumped along Pratt Whitney Road. Most of them looked terrified. They're being treated at the Humane Society of the Treasure Coast. The vets are checking them out and say they will need foster homes. Deputies are searching for the person who dumped the puppies. 
Let's get to a health alert right now. This is in Belle Glade. A student at Glade Central High School has tested positive for tuberculosis. The Palm Beach County Health Department is investigating as we speak to see if others were exposed. Letters are going out to students, teachers, and other staff members who had close contact with that student. Only on five, a St. Lucie County student says she was suspended this week for trying to defend a classmate. I thought I did the right thing. That was 11-year-old Brianna Cooper. Right now she is suspended from Samuel Gaines Academy in St. Lucie County. Uh, she took a video of her science teacher allegedly bullying another student. Brianna says she thought the teacher was threatening her classmate. Don't let the size fool you. I would drop you. Yeah, right. You don't know me. That's all I'm telling you. So don't give me no look. Brianna says she turned that recording over to a teacher to help her classmate, but was suspended because the school says what she did was illegal since the teacher didn't know she was being recorded. The St. Lucie County School District is not commenting because this is an open investigation case. Happening right now, you are looking at live pictures coming in from New York City where the fire and police departments are looking for two people who are still unaccounted for in yesterday's explosion where three buildings collapsed. 25 people were hurt in the blast in the East Village, uh, including four firefighters, also one EMS worker. Construction workers inside a sushi restaurant accidentally hit a gas line Thursday afternoon, causing that explosion. The blast inside one building sparked a fire that spread to two other buildings and caused them to cave. Investigators today are searching for clues for why an airline pilot would deliberately crash, killing all 150 people on board. Katie Turr reports on what they found so far at the pilot's home in Germany. The German prosecutor's office has released findings of what they were able to find within the childhood home of Lubitz and the Dusseldorf apartment. They said they did not find any evidence of a suicide note or any note claiming responsibility for this crash. They found no evidence of a religious or political affiliation either, but they did find evidence of illness. Now, they wouldn't say what sort of illness exactly, but German media has been widely reporting that he was suffering from depression. They did find the evidence that he was being treated presently for that illness. Now, there were doctor's notes as well, doctor's notes excusing him from work in the past few days, including the day that he was flying that plane and the day that he crashed that plane into the side of a mountain, which means that he should not have been working that day, that he was ignoring doctor's orders not to be at work. Also evidence that he was hiding this from his employer, which would coincide with what Lufthansa has been telling us, that they had no warning signs. It coincides as well with what we're hearing from neighbors, that they didn't see anything wrong with him. I cannot imagine that he has uh, done it uh, with attention. This does not fit in this picture I have from him. Or from people who knew him during his flight club days here in Montebar, that they didn't see anything wrong with him. Investigators, though, will now be looking at whether or not they can find any reason that this was premeditated, any motivation for this crash. Back to you. The Treasure Coast is getting ready to welcome President Obama. He will be at the Floridian Golf Course in Palm City this weekend. Secret Service agents were there yesterday, as well as the St. Lucie County Airport. They were there uh, just kind of checking things out before he lands, scouting out the area. Again, he does arrive tomorrow, and we will have full coverage this weekend of the president's visit, especially if he stops at any of our area businesses, maybe a restaurant, as he's been known to do. Former South African President Nelson Mandela's daughter says there is still a war to do to achieve her father's dream of social equality. Dr. Maka Mandela is speaking in Boca Raton this weekend. She says her father's lesson of forgiveness would make a huge difference in today's world. To be persecuted for, for nothing really, just for fighting for your freedom. To be separated from your children at a young age and still come out with no grudge, with no hate and to forgive that is the greatest gift that my father could have given me. Mandela is going to be at a fundraiser for a spring of hope today. That foundation raises money to drill wells for water in South Africa. If you're looking for things to do this weekend, the Palm Beach International Boat Show is going on each year. You know this. It draws thousands of people downtown. Not everyone, though, is happy to see the crowds. In fact, many local businesses say they are losing clients because people either can't find parking or they won't park due to the inflated prices. 
Hopefully, though, we can help you out, help you find that parking. So go to our WPTV app and you'll see some of your options. If you'd rather just eat like a pig and drink like a sailor, then Delray Beach is the place for you. It's the first ever bacon and bourbon festival. Yeah, exactly like it sounds with all the bacon and pork products that you can handle. And then you wash it down with some of South Florida's best bourbon. The festival is this weekend. It'll cost you $25 to get in the door. Uh, listen, if you're looking for something else for you and your children to do today, you can head over to Palm Beach Gardens for an egg extravaganza. This free family event starts at six at Gardens Park off Burns Road. There will be a traditional Easter egg hunt kids activities, and of course, the bunny. Uh, just how hard is it to find healthy kids for your children at restaurants? We're gonna show you what they found in one survey. Plus, it is something all Lily Pulitzer fans have been waiting for. And Pepsi fires a shot in the Coca-Cola Wars. We're back in just 60 seconds with more local coverage. Now through Sunday, make the deal of a lifetime during the Avenue Viera RV Show. Prices slashed on a huge selection of new and used motorhomes, travel trailers, and fifth wheels. Free admission, free parking. Hurry! The Avenue Viera RV Show in Viera ends Sunday. People often ask me, John, how do you do it? Still making pizzas after 30 years. Seriously, guys, it ain't rocket science. It ain't physics. It's pizza. And I love pizza. Get our Philly Cheesesteak Pizza with original Philly Cheesesteak Company Steak. A large for just $12. And introducing our new double chocolate chip brownie. Served warm for just $6. Better ingredients, better pizza. PapaJohns.com. At La Mesa RV, we have the right RV at the right price right now. Like this new Atasca by Winnebago Rayo, discounted to just $5.28 per month. Massive selection, everyday low prices, only at La Mesa RV of Port St. Lucie. Getting some uh, new information on this story, uh, actually tweeting it out right now. So we'll have some of this on our uh, at WPTV traffic feed if you are on Twitter. Uh, we do have a crash uh, at Woolbright Road east of I-95. This is in the Seacrest area. Uh, motorists are being asked to avoid that area. It is, in fact, closed off. So uh, we'll definitely let you know when the area reopens. Now let's go ahead and get to a health alert. A new study finds that many restaurants lack healthy food options for children. Researchers looked at 137 restaurants in mid-America. They found only 11% included at least one healthy entree on their kids' menu and just 9% offered a non-fried vegetable. Okay, move over Diet Coke. Pepsi has just passed you to become the second most popular soda in the country. It's true. Regular Coke, though, remains the number one soda with nearly 18% of the market. Overall, though, diet soda sales have fallen sharply in the U.S., uh, more so than those full calorie drinks. Here's an alert for all you Lily Pulitzer fans. We are getting our first look at the Lily Pulitzer items that are going to be sold at Target. Starting in mid-April, Target shoppers can select from 250 items. We're talking clothing, accessories, also home goods. Prices range from $2 to to 150. What is an Apple executive planning to do with his fortune? That's coming up next. And if you are on the other end of the financial spectrum, a lot of us are, we're gonna tell you what you can do if you owe on your taxes and you just can't pay it all. And how about this for a sweet and sour dessert? It's just in time for Sunday dinner, don't you think? Or in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen straight ahead. Holly, if, uh, if anyone wants to go outside, go for a jog or get some beach time in, you definitely want to do that in the next couple of hours because all that mess out in the Gulf, that is headed our way. Tyler Maldon and I will track it for you, time it out for you, coming up in a few minutes. your small business requires strategic marketing. WPTV is hosting a free small business marketing seminar on April 14th and 15th. Learn from experts what works and how to avoid costly mistakes. RSVP to smallbiz at WPTV.com. Teamwork. At Searcy Denny, we have an experienced team to pursue justice for those injured by defective products. At Searcy Denny, we fight for consumers hurt by bad drugs and dangerous medical devices. Learn more at searcylaw.com. 
Tonight on the new grip. Watch out, here she comes. She's a man eater. The Venus flytrap. And look who's on the menu. Don't move. We better find this pretty woman. New grip tonight here on NBC. Only iHeartRadio could bring together this many stars in one night with a tribute to Justin Timberlake, plus host and performer Jamie Foxx. The iHeartRadio Music Awards, live Sunday, 8, 7 central, here on NBC. Make tomorrow awesome with Xfinity TV from Comcast. Right now, you can get Xfinity TV for just $19.99 a month for 12 months with Xfinity On Demand included. Call 1-800-800-2079 today. Xfinity On Demand delivers thousands of hit shows, top movies, and more at no additional cost. So you can catch up on the latest episodes of TV's hottest shows anytime, anywhere. Switch to Xfinity TV for just $19.99 a month for 12 months with Xfinity On Demand included. Plus, ask how you can add HBO, Showtime, or Stars, and enjoy award-winning TV shows and movies at home and on the go. There's no term contract and no early termination fee. Plus, it's all backed by our 30-day money-back Comcast customer guarantee, so it's risk-free. Tomorrow could be awesome if you call today. Call 1-800-800-2079. That's 1-800-800-2079. Xfinity, the future of awesome. Do you know that more than one-third of children under 13 killed in car crashes were not in car seats or wearing their seat belts? So buckle up your precious cargo. Learn more at CerseLaw.com. The attorneys of Cersei Denny, a passion for justice. Closed captioning on WPTV is sponsored by Bethesda Health. What would you do if you had $785 million? Apple's chief executive, Tim Cook, is saying that he plans to donate all of that money to charity. This is after he pays for his 10-year-old nephew's college education. Okay, so you know this. Uh, it's a consumer alert. Tax day getting closer and closer. If you are someone who owes the government money, maybe you can't pay, Kiplinger.com has an idea for you. Instead of using a credit card, you may want to consider setting up an installment plan with the IRS. You can do that simply by filing the form 9465. With that form, you do get to propose how much you can afford to pay each month, but keep in mind you'll also owe interest and penalties. However, the IRS's interest rate is now just 3%. This afternoon, NASA astronaut Scott Kelly will blast off into space where he'll be there an entire year at the International Space Station. It's an unusual experiment, too, involving his identical twin brother, retired astronaut Mark Kelly, who's staying here on Earth. NASA will be comparing the two to determine how space affects different human organs and decision-making. Mark Kelly may look familiar. He is the husband of Gabby Giffords, a former congresswoman. As you look at the beach on Peanut Island, a warning about swimming conditions this weekend. The Coast Guard just issued an advisory to swimmers to exercise extreme caution. They are calling for dangerous rip currents. This month, high winds and waves have led to a number of drownings and close calls here in South Florida. Good afternoon, everyone. Today is a Storm Team 5 weather alert day. That means that we just want you to stay alert all this afternoon because we do have the possibility for strong, even possibly severe storms. But looking at the Live 5 camera, you wouldn't really know that right now. It is cloudy outside. It's also very windy, but overall, not a bad afternoon. If you look at the radar right now, not too bad. Just some light rain that's about to cruise over from west to east over Lake Okeechobee. A little bit of light rain through Bell Glade. Um, but if we zoom out this radar, I'll show you what's coming our way. So just off into the Gulf, this big mess, this uh, cluster of showers and thunderstorms, that is moving from west to east, and that will arrive later on today. We can overlay the winds here. So you see those winds coming out of the southwest just like that. That is the direction that uh, those storms will come. So with more on the timing, let's send things over to Storm Team 5 meteorologist Tyler Malden. Tyler, when... <laughs> <laughs> Lisa, I'm thinking that uh, if you have any lunch plans, it looks great. You can go outside. You don't have to worry about the rain for the next couple of hours. However, if you have any outdoor plans for later on this afternoon, you may want to change those plans simply because, as you can see, we do have the rain coming our way. So here's Vipercast at 2.30 this afternoon. A little bit of rain across the coastline, but notice what happens right as we head into the rush hour for this afternoon. We start to see those storms blossom. And by 7.30 this evening, we are looking at a ton of yellow and red out 
out there uh, on the map. And when you take a look at your Storm Shield weather app, the radar on Storm Shield, yeah, you'll definitely see the, the storms right there. And that red indicates the strong storms, the severe storms. We could possibly see some severe storms, but all that will be out by the time we get to 11 o'clock tonight. And in terms of your severe weather threats, here's what we should look forward to um, uh, later on this afternoon. With each cell, we could see numerous lightning strikes. We could also see wind gusts of over 60 miles per hour, which would warrant some severe thunderstorms. Maybe some small hail too. We're talking about penny size hail and even a slight risk for flooding. And that would be minor street flooding during this afternoon. So as you head out this afternoon, do play it safe and have that heads up. Um, Lisa, you know, it's just going to be one of those afternoons once again. <laughs> yeah, it's going to get pretty sloppy later on this afternoon, but we're going to keep you up to date on uh, Facebook and Twitter and give you all the information that you need to know. And Steve Weagle will be here later on this evening, timing everything out for you. All right, after that uh, mess moves through, it's actually a part of a cold front. It's going to drop our temperatures into the 50s tonight. It's been weeks since we've had temperatures in the 50s, so that means when you wake up tomorrow morning, you're going to notice that it's going to feel quite chilly for us South Floridians. You may even need a, a sweater for the morning hours tomorrow morning waking up in the 50s, but the weekend is gorgeous. I know we've got to deal with this messy weather later today on a Friday, not ideal, but the weekend is absolutely fantastic. Lower humidity, 72 on Saturday, 74 on Sunday, tons of sunshine, a little bit breezy on Sunday, but waking up in the mornings, the temperatures in the 50s, will start to warm up Monday and Tuesday into the upper 70s, and then more rain chances by Wednesday and Thursday. When life gives you lemons, what do you do? You make lemonade, or better yet, how about a super moist lemon coffee cake? Howard and Mr. Foots Tet's Kitchen show this how. We've all heard the expression, when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. Well, I've always been a big believer in that philosophy, but after tasting the lemon coffee cake that we just came up with, I'm starting to think more along the lines of, when life gives us lemons, we should be making a fresh tasting dessert. After mixing together a few dry ingredients, you know, flour, baking soda and powder, cinnamon, salt, and some white and brown sugar, we pour in a good amount of melted butter, some milk, and a couple of eggs. Now for the stuff that gives this all its flavor, we add some lemon extract and some grated lemon zest, and we beat it until the batter is smooth. We'll spoon it into the baking dish and we'll cover it and pop it in the fridge to chill. As a matter of fact, I like to leave it in the fridge overnight and in the morning, top it off with a mixture of some chopped pecans and more brown sugar and cinnamon before baking it off. Let me tell you, when this is baking and the coffee is brewing, it's gonna be hard for your sleepy heads to stay in bed. The recipe for our country lemon coffee cake is online now and it's a way to turn something tart into something sweet. I'm Howard in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found a zesty way for you to say, ooh, it's so good. Looks pretty good. You can find this recipe again, or maybe there's another one you're interested in. Look it up by going to our website, wptv.com slash Mr. Food. Youngsters often go to camp during spring break, but the camp these kids are going to will teach them skills they can use in a very popular place right here in Florida, we're gonna tell you what they're learning when we get back. Driving along and then it happens. You get hurt in a car accident. After your accident, we work fast. Let me tell you what I mean by that. Is the legal system fast? No. But is taking your case today right over the phone fast? Yes. The day we take your case, we start getting witness statements and finding all the insurance. We promise to fight the insurance company for all the money you deserve. Rubenstein Law starts working on your accident case the minute you call. Now that's fast. I'm attorney Robert Rubenstein. Call me. I want to be your attorney. 1-800-FL-LEGAL. Managing depression, it's about getting you back to you and all the things that matter to you. Whether or not you're taking an antidepressant, feelings such as depressed mood and lack of energy can still get in the way. And that's just not you. We're conducting a clinical research study evaluating an investigational drug designed to work with antidepressants to see if it can help address unresolved symptoms of depression. So give us a call and see if you may be eligible to participate. I hated having missing teeth, but I wanted high-quality care I could afford. 
I got it all at the Ferber Dental Group. Implants from $4.99 and highly skilled dentists. Now, I got a great smile when I choose to use it. We'll have you smiling again. Hi, I'm Chris Anders, owner of Palm Beach Boat Club, and I've been boating in South Florida for over 30 years. The best times have always been on the water with my family. These days, it's even easier to own the boating lifestyle without the hassles. Pick out the boat you want, choose a time, and the boat will be ready and waiting. Palm Beach Boat Club is the largest boat club in the U.S. with a fleet of over 70 boats, and we now do stand-up paddleboard sales and rentals. Stop by or go online today. Daily and Vincent, the rock stars of bluegrass performing live in concert. Don't miss the three-time Grammy nominees and three-time entertainers of the year, Daily and Vincent, at the Four Arts Theater Goobelman Auditorium, April 12th. Tickets available now. Proudly supported by Springer Mountain Farms. Fresh chicken, a healthier choice for dinner tonight. family. They're the ones who keep us warm inside, making us smile on a rough day, a part of our memories, both small and big. And through the years, natural gas appliances are there for you, just like family. Extend your family with reliable, energy-saving natural gas appliances and get up to $1,750 cash back when you switch. Florida Public Utilities. Feel the love. Catch your News Channel 5 updates throughout the day on News Radio WJNO. While many kids might spend their spring break or vacation going to the beach, some young Key Westers are learning skills that performers use to entertain visitors at Key West's daily Mallory Square Sunset Celebration. The kids are 6 through 13. They're at a five-day spring break circus camp learning how to juggle, spin plates, twirl hula hoops, and do balancing acts. Things that I know that Lisa and Tyler do very well. Oh. Maybe not the, <laughs> the juggling thing, but you guys do juggle a lot, especially on a day like this. Yes. <laughs> Seeing them do all of that at once just makes my head hurt. Yeah. I'm trying to think I about know. focusing on everything. Yeah. Very talented. I've been talking to you guys. A time to watch 3 o'clock and on? Yeah, yeah. Yes. So right now, if you want to head out, you'll be just fine because the radar looking pretty good. Some light rain moving over the lake right now from west to east. But Tyler, time this out for later on today because it's going to get pretty bad. Yeah, you saw that blob of rain over there across the Gulf. That is coming in our direction. And it's not going to be here really at 2 or 3 o'clock. It's more around 5 to 8 o'clock this evening. You can see it coming in right in time for your rush hour this afternoon. And then, bam, 8 o'clock this evening, we are going to see some strong thunderstorms and uh, maybe even some severe thunderstorms, too. That's long gone by 10 o'clock tonight, though, and then some cooler, drier air comes in right in time for the weekend. Take a look at the seven-day forecast. Um, Lisa, today we've got the active weather, weather, but this weekend looks great. Gorgeous. I mean, tomorrow morning you may even need a jacket because we'll be in the 50s, which is cold for us. And then beautiful in the afternoon, sunny, highs in the 70s. I mean, get out and enjoy it. Rain doesn't return until the end of next week. All right, guys, we do have some breaking news before we oh. leave you. Uh, we're going to try to get to that. Uh, Sheriff Ken Mascara is on the scene of a deputy-involved shooting. This is the 1100 block of Mayflower. Road. Uh, we'll have more for you online. Hello, Jupiter to Cuesta. I need some help with my air conditioning. Quick, efficient home repair is reason to celebrate. Every morning, this is local news everywhere. Mornings on WPTV News Channel 5. Yeah, I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. I tried so hard. I can't ride the bubble. I don't know what it is about that little gal's love. But I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. We'll make you smile with our Lexus ES350 giveaway. March 28th. One free entry daily. Automatic finalists March 8th, 15th, and 22nd. Play more, be happy. That's how we roll at Isle Casino Pompano Park. Need a new mattress? Come to El Dorado and shop Florida's largest mattress selection.
Lease a 2015 Outback for $219 a month at Schumacher Subaru. Schumacher Subaru. Come join the family. For over 30 years, you've heard our jingle. So what does that mean? Amazing everyday low prices on a large selection of electronics and more. An expert and knowledgeable sales team that's ready to help. In-home service by our master tech team. From installation to demonstration of the newest home electronics. And don't forget to ask about our BrandSmart 110% low price guarantee. Discover the BrandSmart way today. Do you have loose or missing teeth? Do you cover your mouth when you laugh? Appearance Implants of Jupiter can give you the smile you've always wanted. Call now to schedule your free implant consultation. We have helped thousands of people like you feel confident and secure. And with fees this low, you'll have lots to smile about. Why wait any longer to have the smile you've always wanted? Call now to schedule your free implant consultation. Appearance Implants of Jupiter. Quality dentistry at affordable prices. People often ask me, John, how do you do it? Still making pizzas after 30 years. Seriously, guys, it ain't rocket science. It ain't physics. It's pizza. And I love pizza. Get our Philly Cheesesteak Pizza with original Philly Cheesesteak Company Steak, a large for just $12. And introducing our new double chocolate chip brownie, served warm for just $6. Better ingredients, better pizza. PapaJohns.com. Bezzy Lou Stables, Florida Derby, Saturday, March 28th, 2.2 million in stakes purses. First race at noon. Hello, Jupiter to Cuesta. I need some help with my plumbing. <laughs> Quick, efficient home repair is reason to celebrate. America, their opinions on a bunch of fun topics. All you have to do is guess what America said and you win the big money. If you're ready to have some fun, say yeah. Yeah. yeah! All right, everybody, let's get this party started. The first question is worth $100 and has two possible answers. The answers are look away, enjoy the view. And the question is what do married women say that their husband?